Hi guys, welcome to Tutes Online. Today we'll be looking at a maxima or minima problem. So this problem has a hot water tank with a radius, a height, and has to have a capacity of 4 meters cubed, which is the volume. Now we want to find what radius and height combination would give us least surface area. And for a hot water system, we would want to reduce the surface area because that would reduce the heat lost. So to start with this problem, we'd have to know the formula for a cylinder. So you can look this up if you don't know it. The volume would be equal to pi r squared times by h. That has to equal 4 according to the question. The surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So you've got 2 pi r squared which is the top and bottom and then the side walls is 2 pi r h. For our volume formula, if we rearrange for h, we'd get h equals 4 over pi r squared. I'll make this a capital. Now if we substitute this h value into our surface area, we'll say s for surface area equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r, and we've got h 4 over pi r squared. This simplifies to 2 pi r squared plus 8 r to negative 1. Because the pi's cancel, and you got 2 times 4, and r to the negative 1. Now if we differentiate this with respect to r, so ds dr, this would be uh, 4 pi r minus 8 r to the negative 2. So for a maxima or a minima problem, we set the differentiation to equal 0. So 4 pi r minus 8 r to the negative 2 equals 0. Scroll down. We'll solve for r. So we could say 4 pi r equals, moving the negative 8 r to the negative 2 over the other side, 8, and we'll write this as r squared. So rearranging, putting the r squared over to the other side, we'd have r to the 3 equals 8, and moving the 4 pi underneath here. So if we get rid of the cube, and say this is a cube root, this is equal to 0.86-ish, if you put into a calculator. So we're not sure if this r is a maxima or minima. So if we take the second derivative, which is d2s over dr squared equals 4 pi r minus minus, which is plus, 16 r to the negative 3, which we'll write as r cubed. Now because this is greater than 0, that means that this is a minimum. So we know that using this r value that we previously got would give us the minimum radius. If we sub this into our h value, the height of the water tank, this would give us one point seven two if you put that in a calculator. So now I have an R value for the radius, H value for the height, 
if we find out the surface area using our original surface area formula, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, subbing our values, and we get 13.9, and this is meters squared. So there you have it. Uh, one of the difficult parts of this is actually knowing the formulas. If you're not told what the surface area or volume is for some shapes, it can be difficult, but you're often given a table in exams. Or if it's a simple thing like a square or circle, then it's a good thing to memorize. If you have any questions, post a comment. Please subscribe to our channel and visit our website. Thanks.